Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we're on May 2nd, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Having a look here at the last 48 hours of space weather imagery showing our sun, M-class solar flares, pretty strong one there to note out. That was in the outgoing position. A couple CMEs the last few days, and as well that little glitch there that is a calibration of the SDO satellite happens every so often and you get a little shaky view here having a look at the last 48 hours incoming sunspot region moving in bright and fiery on the left hand side as well some earth facing sunspots to talk about right now as well we had 17 last week having a look at outgoing imagery here this is where we saw the Strong M-class solar flare outgoing, and it did produce a CME towards Venus. Having a look at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. And as well, pointing out the coronal hole regions, which I'm pretty sure this is why we are under a G3 geomagnetic storm impacts from the most recent coronal hole regions. And these ones now are facing Earth, facing us. Expect more increased solar winds. Looking at another light here, this is 193 angstroms. Amazing imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events wide, daily events worldwide. And right now we have seven sunspot regions on our sun. Quick look here at those sunspot regions in motion. Outgoing there, pretty bright, flashy M-class solar flare right there, right-hand side. Current space of weather conditions, we are under R1 minor radio blackout impacts expected. And as well, G3 strong geomagnetic storm impacts are expected. So watch for northern lights tonight across the northern and southern hemisphere. Solar winds are coming in at 428 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux here, as you can see, strong M-class solar flare and a couple minor M-class solar flares reported yesterday. Solar proton flux is low, geomagnetic activity hopping up to KP7 today. And that is most likely from the coronal hole wind stream. Increased pressure on our planet right now, as you can see, having a look at our magnetosphere. This is depicting our solar winds smashing Earth. And this is also depicting the pressure that it is putting on our planet. And there is an immense amount of pressure right now. So heads up and watch for strong earthquakes. Having a look at Space Weather Prediction Center. Showing their space weather spiral. As you can see, this is going into the first and into the second. There was a minor storm giving us a glancing blow into the third and fourth. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral showing the most recent CME taking off in an outgoing position towards the Parker Solar Probe. And then here having a look at the Aurora forecast for overnight tonight. Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. So across Canada you can definitely watch for Northern Lights. Auroras will be visible, but then especially late tonight into Europe and over Russia, Finland, you're going to see some pretty amazing aurora displays. Now let's have a look at our sun. This is Lasco 3 showing a widespread broadband view of our sun and all of its energy leaving. This is L3 Lasco coronagraph. This is showing the last seven days. I haven't updated since the 27th. Not quite seven days, but five days. And this is showing all the activity that has happened since. I want to thank you all for subscribing and being patient here with daily events worldwide. I'm not able to upload every day, but I'm doing the best I can. And thank you so much for being a part of this channel and all this information being shared. Pretty big CME there, outgoing. 
Nothing major is heading our way right now. Now let's get to earthquakes. As we're still semi-busy, up and over 250 earthquakes in a 24-hour period. Largest being a 5.9 here in Papua New Guinea, 29 kilometer depth. Some pretty deep earthquakes through Vanuatu. Fiji has all of a sudden gone quiet. And then continuing seismicity through Indonesia and the Philippines, Banda Sea area. Pretty deep EQs for the region the last 24 hours. Hengshun, Taiwan, 4.8. So aftershocks continue there. Pretty deep earthquake here. Kirilsk, Russia, and then Alaska with an earthquake swarm close to the Great Sitkin volcano. 5.5, lots of aftershocks to the region. North American plate, largest across North America right now is 3.8 earthquake. Pestle River, Oregon. Notable earthquake there, 2.6, Santa Rita, Montana, and across central United States, Fall City, Texas, reporting a 3.4, and earthquake swarming, continuing at Kilauea Caldera, Southeast Rift has been going for quite a few days, USGS reporting 294 earthquakes, 24-hour period, so still watching this swarm continue. Have a look at how many earthquakes are across the island right now. Only showing 57 right now, but yesterday where they were up over up and over 110 earthquakes. So this is where all the minor seismicity is continuing. A couple old craters on the southeast rift. And this is the last seven days for shakers. Over 500 earthquakes reported the big island of Hawaii. So, heads up, Kilauea, and anyone living around it, heads up, everybody on the Big Island. Something is a-brewing. Quick glance here at the rest of the world. This is the last seven days for earthquakes. Look at that, peppered all across the Pacific Northwest and down into California. Even an interesting earthquake swarm towards Los Angeles, California. That's right, look at this small earthquake swarm that occurred, has been occurring all week. 4.1 reported Corona, California yesterday. And minor seismicity has been continuing since, but look at a very widespread cross Long Valley. And all around the Pacific Northwest. Carrying on here, Caribbean Plate. 4.9 there, report, 4.3 reported Columbia, as well as Jamaica, Buff Bay, 4.0 magnitude. And this is a region where I, uh, in last video, I said to watch. So, heads up, activity continues. 5.1 there, Peru, seismicity continuing at South Sandwich Islands, largest 5.4. And as well, a 4.8 here reported Tanzania. 4.5 earthquake, Bam, Iran. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Almost 300, according to USGS. Quick glance here at the last seven days on our earthquake globe. Again, thank you all for pressing play. Thank you for choosing daily events worldwide, staying aware and prepared with daily videos on earthquakes, volcanoes, world weather, and as well, space weather following our sun. Earth is a rockin', big changes are happening, and volcanoes are erupting, 48 of them around the world. Let's have a look at our SO2 forecast, sulfur dioxide emissions brought to you by those 48 volcanoes. Having a look here, a big plume across central regions of Indonesia, and it has now stretched into northern Australia, all through Africa as well central regions of Africa. But it is diminishing here in this three-day forecast. Mount Arung is a big contributor to that big sulfur dioxide mess. Having a look around the rest of the world. Known players all through Mexico and Central America. Fuego, Pablo Paquerito, Reventador. 
And then looking in the southern hemisphere, we did have an eruption. I'm not sure where. Looks like southwest of South American tip. As you can see, this SO2 forecast enveloping the southern hemisphere as well. So lots of nasty air quality, folks, brought to you by our 48 volcanoes that are active and erupting. Now let's get to weather here across North America. We're going to start out low pressure system, a massive low pressure system stretching from Alberta to Mexico is finally going to move north, but will bring snow th towards eastern Canada. Watching the long range here, extreme weather to break out and as well snow through both of these big systems as they come through. But Tuesday into Wednesday, it will be a big mess across eastern Canada. Extreme weather will be breaking out day after day with this system as it slowly tracks east. And again, it's a big low. Overlooking at Europe, you've got one low over the Mediterranean right now. Eventually will be ushered away. Another one coming in over north of Spain. High pressure ridge moving in for Tuesday, Wednesday. Lingering low through eastern Mediterranean will bring some nasty weather towards India and Saudi Arabia. And then overlooking Australia, Southeast Asia and Africa. Watch for a cyclone here to develop and is forecast to make landfall. Looks like Saturday into Sunday, Tanzania cyclone forecast landfall Saturday. So heads up Tanzania and please share this with your friends and family. Having a look around here, the rest of the world, no major cyclones or typhoons developing. All the blue is rain, folks. Low pressure spins counterclockwise, creating moisture. High pressure spins clockwise, drying things out. Having a look here, forecast over North Pacific. Finally, moisture moving out of China, but another system moves in in the long range. I also wanted to share here with you, at least weekly, having a look at our upper level winds. Depicting our polar vortex in the southern hemisphere right now. As they are just about in the grips of winter. Quick glance here around the world at our upper level winds. 30,000 feet and higher. Equatorial winds through the Pacific. Give you a little comparison to what they looked like last year at this time. As we've seen some big changes on our planet and they're unfolding right before our eyes. Being shared here with daily events worldwide. So please subscribe and I hope you like all the shows and all the information shared here. I appreciate you all and thank you so much for your loyalty and your patience. Trying my best in this crazy, crazy world we're living in. This is your world today. This is your daily events worldwide. Stay safe and healthy out there, my friends. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.